I feel like I live in multiple worlds. On the one hand, my entire family is in the Philippines, half of them in rural areas. On the other hand, I'm living in the United States and I've worked at Wall Street, I've worked at technology companies, I've gone to Ivy League institutions, and I belong to some very influential networks of activists and leaders are creating change. This has given me a unique perspective and it's allowed me to see people and get connected to people from all walks of life. And as I reflect upon what's really enabled me to feel empowered, despite growing up poor in the Philippines, I thought about the institutional support I got from the schools, the mentors and role models I had when I was really young, the support I got from my family was very loving, and the network of friends that I had that really encouraged me to keep going. So as I think about how do we spread empowerment around the world to women and girls, in many ways this is what led to the design of the ecosystem and community approach. Within Women's Sphere, we have a view that everyone can be a leader, can be an innovator, can be an entrepreneur, can be an effective problem solver. That you don't have to go to an Ivy League institution to be able to lead your community sustainably. This is why it's important for us to democratize access to what we know, our frameworks for thinking, for creative thinking and design thinking, for entrepreneurship, for strategy, for being an effective leader. We need to take what we know, the products of Ivy League institutions and best practices coming from companies and best practices coming from governments and communities around the world, and we need to diffuse that and disseminate that information. We're building a network of incubators around the world. Each incubator offers five things. Ecosystem, community, connections with inspiring role models, training and education, and recognition and awards. Essentially, we want to develop women and girls holistically so that they can be better leaders, better innovators, so they can be better creative thinkers and scientific and analytical thinkers, and so that they can approach problem solving strategically. We need all of these to ensure that we're empowering women and girls to create the future. There are over 3.4 billion internet users in the world. What this means is, there is over 1.5 billion users that are women and girls. So we need to be able to leverage the internet and exponential technologies to deliver the type of training and education that we are delivering live through the ecosystems and communities that we're building. And this is why it's important for our incubator network to have a global digital academy component. We do this through partnerships. Think about a rural community. There is not necessarily a connection to the internet. So in order for us to reach them, we need to go where they are through our partners. In rural Philippines, through a partnership with the office of Senator Bao Makino, who's a fellow young global leader, we're able to reach women in rural areas in the Philippines through a network of centers that he has built. And through these centers, we're able to deliver the ecosystem, the community, the training and education, and the recognition that we are designing to empower women and girls. One of the things that makes us different from other initiatives that are focused on women is that we do take an ecosystem and community approach. We think that it's impossible for any one particular program to succeed in empowering women and girls unless it's continued, unless it's designed in an integrated fashion in partnership with the institutions where women are learning, where women are working, and the institutions are part of the fabric of the society where women and girls reside. That's why this ecosystem and community approach is vital for our success and for the success of the women and girls that enter the program. The second way that we are different from other initiatives is that we are focused on investing in the success and progress of women across the pipeline, the leadership, innovation, creativity, and scientific pipeline. So if you're a woman that is starting out as an entrepreneur or starting out in college, we have a program for you. If you're a woman that's currently in the middle of your career and trying to figure out how you're going to progress to the next le level of leadership or innovation, we also have a program for you. We want to make sure that women and girls around the world, regardless of what background they come from, rich or poor, have access to 
an institution that supports their growth and development as leaders and innovators and entrepreneurs, and that they have access to role models, to mentors, to people that will encourage them to reach for their dreams. This is the most important investment we can be making as a society, unleashing the potential of half the world's population.